Hi everyone, I hope you are well. As professionals in the built environment, we should not be only aware of the advantages of applying digital tools and technologies, but also very curious to see what more they can offer. In this video, I'm going to talk about the why question. Why is it essential and why do we need to shift to more and more digital project delivery in all types of built environment and construction projects? I will also talk about some of the existing obstacles that are causing slow adaptation to digitalization in the construction industry. Let's start by looking at the Construction 2025 vision, which is a British government report issued in July 2013. I'm sure other governments have similar set goals for the built environment industry. Smart technologies, green construction, and global trade are the three columns of the 2025 vision. The Construction 2025 vision is planning to shape an industry that is known for its talented and diverse workforce, is efficient and technologically advanced, leads low carbon and green construction exports, drives growth across the entire economy and has clear leadership from a construction leadership council. Thirty three per cent cost reduction in building construction, fifty per cent faster project delivery for all building types, new and refurbishment, fifty per cent less greenhouse gas emissions in the built environment sector, fifty per cent reduction in the export import of construction product and materials. These ambitious goals cannot be achieved without a fundamental change in the industry and the way things are done. Therefore, digital transformation in the industry is the way forward. Let's think about some of the existing issues that the construction industry is facing right now. There is high risk involved in the construction process. Too much waste is produced. Construction is a slow process if you consider the time from early planning stages to the construction completion. Slow adaptation to new technologies is another issue that is repeatedly mentioned by professionals and researchers. So many hazards are involved in the construction. The industry is fragmented with so many disciplines involved in a project. When you consider all the risk, waste and hazards, it has low profit, but huge potential. There is a shortage of skilled labor. We are slow at learning, unlearning and relearning. And there is a massive shortage of professionals with advanced digital skills. Digital technology is a key player that can help us resolve some of the issues in the industry. Digitalization in construction industry is the use of digital tools and technologies in planning, design, construction, operation and management of the built environment. It requires hardware, software and competent professionals. CAD or computer-aided design tools are the most well-known digital technologies that are extensively used in architecture and engineering for design, drafting and documentation. High accuracy and fast documentation. Easy to make changes and modifications. Easy scaling. You can draw on a one-to-one -one scale and then rearrange the scale later on in the project. Flexible drawing size, views and resolution. You can zoom, you can split screen, you can have multiple monitors. Easy and fast use of similar templates in different projects. Easy import and export, easy incorporation of libraries, objects, shapes and blocks. Compatibility and integration with other digital technologies.
One of the most interesting timelines I have seen on CAD and BIM development is the one produced by Graphisoft. As the graph shows, around 90% of professionals in the construction industry are using 2D CAD. Surprisingly, this number drops to just over 50% professionals using 3D CAD. Around 30% are using BIM applications, so there is a huge job market there as the construction regulations will sooner or later require BIM applications in all construction projects. 4D and 5D BIM appear to have considerably lower percentages, which again suggests an amazing market and job opportunities for professionals in the construction industry. Let's look into some of the obstacles in front of full digitalization and use of CAD. Digital software and computer hardware can be high priced for individuals and small companies. But then it is good to think about the job market out there and how knowing digital tools increases project profitability and your chance of employability in the built environment sector. Training requirements, sometimes quite complex and very time consuming. But then again, it is a time well spent. Continuous learning, unlearning and relearning, reskilling and upskilling. Competency in digital tools requires lifelong learning as every year new versions of software appear and better and more accurate tools show up in the market. Privacy concerns and the risk of technical difficulties. High spec computer dependency is another obstacle. The shift to digital project delivery is very essential and inevitable. More companies are adapting digitalization, more clients are requesting for it, and more regulations towards digitalization are in place. A very valid question about digital project delivery in the built environment is what digital tools and technologies to learn and how. This will be the subject of my next video. Take care.